just got back from the post office. I somehow missed two parcels. We're in lockdown and one of us is at home at all times, so don't ask me how we can miss a parcel. But I thought I'll wait and I will open them up once I start filming. I'm pretty sure in one of the last videos as well, I said that I'll do like a little mini hair tutorial with the big blowout waves, but I honestly, I am so low energy today and I just cannot be bothered doing the big blowout waves because for that I would have to like wash and dry and style my hair and I'm on a low effort vibe today. So I'm just gonna use, I have one of those like mermaid wand beachy wave things. I stole Mitch's dry shampoo. It's a brown tinted one. I think today I'm going to make an absolute mess because there's a bench top that I want to cover. I'm just going to put a little bit of heat protection through my hair. This is the Orbe one. Interestingly, I found out you can also use this almost as like a sunscreen for your hair if you're going outside. This is why I hate doing my own hair. I basically have to section my hair into about a million parts for this to work because there's a lot of it. What I'm gonna do is take a section of the hair and so my stylist Beck does this sometimes as well. She just really crimps through the middle. We never do the ends. Don't know if you can see it that well, but I've left the end out and have literally just crimped through the middle. So I was on my stories the other day and I, I mentioned that I had actually watched all three seasons of Westworld in this lockdown and I was asking for suggestions and there were some really good ones on there but there was one on there that I think I'm going to start uh, quite a few people suggested it it was his dark materials so I'm gonna look that up maybe tomorrow and I'll start that after my work day tomorrow I think and I'm sorry if you can hear the camera clicking normally I wear my little clip-on mic thing but I thought I better not do that while I'm doing my hair or I'm gonna bump it like a million times and that's gonna be more annoying than the autofocus noise from this so if you have any other sci-fi suggestions show suggestions for me um some of the other ones okay I've already seen like a bunch of these because I'm a giant sci-fi fan so I've seen The Expanse I've seen Snowpiercer I've seen Altered Carbon I've seen the first season of Dark but I didn't watch anything after that I haven't seen Fort Salem I haven't seen Wayward Pines Firefly is great I haven't seen Battlestar Galactica I've seen some bits of Black Mirror I'm a fan of big hair and because I have a lot of hair, like it's, it's thick and there's a lot of it. If I don't put any kind of texture or any kind of lift up here in the root of my hair, I look like a triangle. The pieces around this level of my head are a bit longer, so I'm going to stamp it once here. And then I'm going to pull it down and stamp it again, but I'm still going to try and leave like that bottom section out. So funny, my sister just messaged me on Facebook. And she sent me this photo from when I was, I think you know, I was seven, judging by the date. I'll need to check again. I'll put it on the screen for you. I'm pretty sure her and mum are cleaning out mum's house at the moment. My mum's been living in the same house since I was two, I think. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff she needs to clean out. And they obviously found a bunch of old photos. And I noticed this little, this thing on my face. It brought back so many memories. There were these little like gemstone stickers and they were fake like stick on piercings. And I think people, they were designed to be like worn on your ears or something, I think. Um, I used to always wear one on my face. I don't know why. I'm gonna put some texture spray in. Now this isn't as polished as the other style I've been wearing lately, but it's more just like kind of texture, messy waves rather than just having it flat. Let's go open these parcels and I also just had some flowers arrive which I need to put in a vase. I've got this contact paper here as well because we're going to cover my little filming tea bench, I don't even know, kitchen workbench with it. A little vase which will actually probably work well for these tulips. So I found these on Etsy from the same woman I bought a vintage lamp off. How cool. I think they need a little bit of a polish. I got them for my office. Because the whole time we've been in here, I've never properly, like I haven't decorated my office at all. I kind of just like brought all the old furniture from the old place and put it in the room 
and set up my desk, but I never really did anything with the space. And so it's sort of just become like a storage room for camera equipment. They're actually so heavy. I feel like these might be too thin. That's not too bad. I reckon if I just, let me show you where they're gonna go. Okay, so we're in one portion of my office here. My desk is actually tucked up in that little... This is an antique dresser or commode, I think is the proper word for it. And then over here, I have a bunch of my photography backdrops. There's Chip. Um, this is my drawers, which has all my photography equipment in it, which we're going to declutter at some point. My plant cabinet is in here. I feel like I'm too tall for all these shots. Anyway, this dresser, I'm thinking I want to... I've got this like removable vinyl wallpaper, which I want to put on this wall. I was thinking maybe today, but oh, I actually, I don't have all of it. I've got half the order. So I might just wait until all of it comes in and then we can do it together. Cause I'll have to fully clean, like scrub down the whole wall and everything first as well. But this is the dresser that I got. And this is going to be my storage for my camera equipment because I'm going to majorly declutter it. At the moment, it's five drawers, and I'm just going to go down to this one long drawer and these two smaller drawers. Also, my apologies, it's pretty dark in this room because the only window is like up over that way. So this lamp is from West Elm. It's actually like this globe. I don't know if you can see that properly because it's kind of bright compared to the rest of the room. And then these are actually bookends, which I got from Amara, but... I kind of like them here, like this. Like my brain is telling me the taller bits should be toward the middle. I don't know, I'm sure I'll figure it out at one point, but I thought that would go really cool. Also, is it just me? Or does Chip's face look like a really old bunny? Like he's not, he just gives me like old man vibes. Just cut a little bit off the ends of these. in our bedroom so these are our chest of drawers this mirror is the mirror if you watched my home tour that i did oh what would it have been two videos ago three videos ago i showed this mirror i did have it upstairs but i've just moved it downstairs this lamp is the one that i was mentioning before that i bought off that etsy seller so it's just like an antique one obviously got it second or third hand or whatever it is and this is my little ring holder skeleton hand out how to cover this bench top this is the contact paper that I bought the brand is Rose Rosa our interior film sheets are well-being products blah 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 it needs to be on a level surface which is fine and no dust in between the surface and the product it says if it's wood you might like to apply a primer but I'm gonna be real I'm not gonna do that I also need to get my hair dryer, I think, too. Oh, I better move these because I'm pretty sure as I roll it out and attach it to the bench, I'm gonna need to like blow dry it to make it adhere. Okay. I didn't want to keep it wooden because I don't think it goes with the decor style that I'm going for, like that natural wooden color. But I didn't want to paint it black like I did with the bottom of it. So originally the whole thing 
was that natural wooden color. And I thought I'll just keep the top that natural color or if I don't like how the natural color looks with everything else being black, then I'll just cover it. I've actually had this sitting in the cupboard under my stairs for about eight months because I was meaning to cover a bench that we have um, in our bathroom, but then I just wasn't sure if it would stay intact. Because our bathroom, well, our, our ensuite, the one that we use the most, it doesn't actually have any windows. We actually have to open our bedroom windows, well, pretty much every day to make sure there's enough fresh airflow in that bottom room, because otherwise it gets a little bit moldy, which is not what I'm going for. This sheet smells so much like glue. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is try and start from this underside here and then like pull it over here, wrap it around and then I'll just cut these and trim them a little bit and fold them under which I'll have to blow dry as I do. I mean how hard could it be? It's like covering a giant book, right? I used to be obsessed with covering my school books and just make them look all perfect. For anyone trying to snoop, it's not a, not even a bank card, it's a um, tram pass, which I haven't even been able to use in two years anyway. So I made a mistake. I should not have blow dried it so early because what's actually happened is it stretched the, the paper. Because this middle part which hasn't been blow dried actually looks great. But when I'm trying to come around the edges it's um, like creased and stretched. So annoyed. Ugh. Like, look, this side, she's stunning. She's flawless. There's no bubbles. Sorry, Chip is playing with the. What are you doing? This is absolutely chaotic over here. This looks so bad. I'm so annoyed. Why did I blow dry it straight away? Okay, you know what? I'm actually pretty pleased with how this turned out. So it's supposed to be waterproof and it feels almost kind of stone-like. Okay, you know what? The more I look at the bench, the more I really like it. I'm actually pretty impressed because that, that contact paper was only a few dollars and I'm less scared of wallpapering the wall now. When I started that and I messed it up at the start, I was like, oh my God, why would I buy a wallpaper for a wall if I can't even cover a little trolley thing, but now I feel a little bit less stressed.
This is the book that I've been reading. It's from the All Souls trilogy, A Discovery of Witches. Luca, come here. <laughs> He's playing by himself with a ball. Do you want me to throw it? Now they're fighting over it. Uh, it's the second book in the series. It's the Shadow of Night book. I am this far through. But this book, you know what? I have to admit, this book has been taking me ages to read. I think I read the whole first book in like two days, three days, and that's around like work and everything else that I do as well. One, I haven't been able to get into as much. I read almost, I'm not perfect, but like almost every night before bed because I try not to watch TV or movies or anything like too close to going to sleep because I find it really interrupts my deep sleep. But this one, oh, I'm just, I'm having such a hard time with it. I feel like I've been stuck on it for weeks and I'll be reading for a little bit and I'm like, right, time to go to bed. Whereas the last one I was like reading and I wanted to keep reading and I really had to pull myself away from the pages. If you haven't heard of the book before, I'm pretty sure they have a TV series on the first season of it. It might sound a little bit cheese, but it's about a witch and a vampire and they fall in love and like all the problems that come with that because they're such divided communities. But what I found really interesting about the first book was like the historical stuff and the alchemy stuff. Like I found that super interesting references. Whereas this book, I won't spoil it if you haven't read it, but there's like time travel involved. And I feel like, I was gonna say talking like an author, but I'm not one, but like I have a book. <laughs> I, just, I don't have a nonfiction book though. I definitely could not write a nonfiction, like kudos to anyone who can do that. But I just found for me like pulling the, um, the time travel element into it, it meant that this book feels really slow. Like there isn't as much progress happening toward the thing that they need to solve. I'm hoping to maybe finish this off in the next day or two there's really not that much left because I want to start the third book. I want to give the third book a try. So I have the third book for this one, but then I don't have anything else queued up and ready to go. So if you have suggestions for me, feel feel free to throw them my way and then I'll, I'll order something new that I can read. I'm just gonna make a little salad for the bunny. I'm doing it in three separate bowls. So I have one big one for Ralph because he's way bigger than the other two and then two small little bowls for the other boys. The little boys, Chip and Pancake, they were out running around this morning. But we've got Ralph out now because unfortunately they don't all get along yet. So Chip and Pancake have bonded. They haven't, neither of them have bonded with Ralph. Pancake and Ralph never got along super well to begin with, but we've been slowly trying to get them to bond with each other. It's just with rabbits, it's such a slow process sometimes. Don't mind my fashionable footwear, but Ralph is eager. You want your salad? Do you want your salad? Now, most of the time they live on a diet of hay, but they get this salad once a day. Today they've got lettuce and we've got some basil. And some fresh parsley. And then on top for a little treat, they each get two blueberries. Do you want I'm just gonna make a chicken wrap because I want something simple. And luckily Mitch already meal prepped out a bunch of chicken. I think there's still, how many servings do you reckon are in this container? Like one? Yeah, one. I normally put like four servings down So on the bottom, I just put this smoky chipotle hummus. And then I'm gonna put some cucumber. Put some spinach. This is actually really tasty with the spicy hummus thing in really? it. Really? Yeah. Keen to try it. Does it count as eating in front of the TV when we don't have the TV on yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does. Plus we're in lockdown. I think that's the exception where you can... What? I hate it. What? Lockdown. Oh yeah, so you mean your meal. I was like, what? No, I just told you I liked it. Um, <laughs> what movies? 
I do pick. I have to Mitch is in, Mitch is responsible for picking movies. He's much, much, much better at picking movies than I am. I'm good at TV shows. Yeah, you pick some really good ones. But not movies. Yeah. I will pick a movie, like if I look at a movie and I'm like, oh, that looks good. It's like a four out of 10 on IMDb. <laughs> or like a two sometimes. <laughs> I get up on my, don't mind that one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm looking at like older movies right now because I feel like we've really like watched too many over the past few years that are like the last year or two. And I feel like most movies that came out last year weren't that good because it has like two people in it. And like that's the whole cast is like two people. So I'm looking at like 90s movies and- Okay, my favorite actors, I have two. No, I have three. Anthony Hopkins, um, Olivia Coleman, and David Tennant. That's They're my fair. top three. Who, That's are, fair. who are your top three? You two. I'm holding the mic because it's. Oh, I shouldn't move it while I'm talking. I'm holding the mic because otherwise, when it's clipped to me, you'll probably hear me chewing while I'm eating, <laughs> and then you can't hear Mitch properly. But who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? I only have one. I like. I'm, I, well, I picked three. Yeah, but I answered this like six months ago, and I knew like that. But now I'm just like, I don't think I have a favorite actor. I don't. Like, every time I find a really good actor I like, I'll watch, like, everything they're in. And I feel like no actor is in, like, is always in good things. So I'll watch a bunch and I'll be like, that was sick! And then I'll watch heaps. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, that movie was really bad. <laughs> so it's like... But I think it's not just the actor who makes a movie. You've got the director. But that, that's what I mean. There's so much that goes into it. It's like, mm. you have a favorite musician, but they might work with another band that you won't like. And then suddenly it's not, like, a thing you like as much anymore. Yeah. So. Well, I'm going to eat my dinner. Actually, let me hold this back here again. Me too. I'm going to eat my dinner. And I'm gonna go and I'll catch you guys in another, in another vlog and we can put the wallpaper up in my office, which I'm terrified to do. <laughs> oh, and we need to declutter my camera equipment as well. There's a few things that we can do. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.